Bend the knee. Fellow Magolas, everybody. This is Don Raven back again with another A Song of Ice and Fire theory video for you. And this might be the greatest Bran theory ever. That being that Bran fathered the current generation of Stark direwolves. Throughout the story, we've learned about Bran's growing powers and have speculated as to what feats he will accomplish going forward. We know that he's a powerful skin changer, and we also know that he's capable of time traveling and event manipulation through the Weirwood Net. And if the show is any indication, his warging abilities are not limited to the present day. So where am I going with this? Well, before I go to the future, let's take a look at the beginning. In A Game of Thrones, in Bran's first chapter, while returning to Winterfell from the beheading of Night's Watch deserter Garrod, we get the discovery of the direwolf pups by Rob Stark. And though most of the party is suspicious of the omen seen in the death of the pup's mother and are ready to put the pups to death, Bran, with some help from Jon, is able to convince his father to allow the wolves to come home with them and be raised by the Stark children. Throughout the story, it's often noted how much the wolves seem to take after their owners in personality and demeanor, even before we learn about their warging or wolf dreams. The strongest of these connections appear to be between Bran and his dire wolf Summer. It is Summer who comes to Bran's rescue when an assassin attempts to murder him while he's in a coma, and we get our first wolf dreams with these two. It's through Bran and Summer that we get the most wolf perspectives, but Bran also seems to connect with ghosts by way of John to a lesser extent. I say all this to illustrate the point that Bran seems to be most connected to the wolves from the beginning of the story. But what if that connection is even deeper than anyone could have imagined? In my Will Brand Become a Villain series, I discuss the unwritten rules of warging, two of which Brand has already violated. Those being not eating the flesh of men while in beast form and not skin changing into another human. That still leaves one rule unbroken. And let's be honest, we all know Brand is going to break that one too. That being not to mate with another animal while in beast form. And while we'd like to think of Bran as being too young to have such thoughts, I don't think it's going to matter when he's in the animal and experiencing new sensations. I've seen it speculated that Bran will war Hodor in an attempt to have sex with Mira, even possibly against her will. But that's a little dark even from my line of thinking. Now, with Summer being holed up in the cave with Bran and company, it's not likely that he would be the candidate for Bran to interact with a female direwolf. But what I could see happening is while Bran is traversing the past in an attempt to learn more about his abilities, he comes across an older male direwolf, one that eerily reminds him of Summer, but with a wildness more reminiscent of Shaggy Dog. I believe that while attempting to learn more about the White Walkers over a prolonged period of time, he will give in to the wolf's urges to find a mate and will inevitably break the third rule of walking. While this may sound far-fetched, remember that Bran has been told that the more time he stays inside of an animal, the more he will lose himself to the animal's nature. <laughs> Why did you wake me? You've been gone for hours. I was hungry. We're all hungry. I was just eating. Summer was eating. Your body can't live on the food your wolf consumes. Spending too much time in summer's skin is dangerous. You're not a dire wolf, Bran. I know it's tempting. But if you're trapped in summer for too long, you'll forget what it was to be human. You'd forget us, Bran. You'd forget your mother and father. You'd forget your brothers and sisters. You'd forget Winterfell. 
You'd forget you. And if we lose you, we lose everything. As I stated before, I believe that this will happen in the past. When you ask, I'd say about three and a half to four years before the events in the Winds of Winter. Which is around the time Garrett, Will, and Waymar Royce encountered the White Walkers. In fact, it's possible that we could see that prologue encounter through Bran's eyes. With all that said, I think that we will find out, albeit in a very subtle way, that Bran, through his warging ability, is actually the father of the Stark Direwolves, though he may never know of this himself. And like when Varamyr's six skin showed up as the wolf called One Eye after his death, I think it will be a blink and you'll miss it Easter egg. You guys let me know what you think about this theory. I've been working on it for a little while. It's been, you know, kind of complicated and I wasn't sure I was going to be able to stick the landing, but I think I did pretty good. So I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section. You know, let me know what you think. Do you think it's possible that Bran is actually the father of the direwolves or am I totally out of my mind? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. I'll be back with another one soon. And for the rest, you already know the deal. Rate, comment, subscribe, share. Tell your friends and come back for more. That has been my time. And this is Don Raven saying Valado Hyrus.